here we are in the cabin of uh, Nine Hotels here on Scalina. It's an A340-313, high gross weight 340. And uh, it's 6.30 in the morning and uh, our destination will be uh, Blue Ice uh, Runway in Antarctica, the Volkswagen. The distance is uh, around 2,500 nautical miles and the flight time on the way down around 5 hours and 5 minutes. It is of course a very important moment. It's the first time an A340 is landing in Antarctica. Uh, I'll have the pleasure to do this landing myself. Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your commander speaking. My name is Carlos Mirpuri. I'm very proud to be in charge of this flight, the very first flight of an A340 to Antarctica. We expect to depart from runway 01 at the conditions in return. Fantastic. And I do hope you enjoy the flight with us. Thank you, Mr. Tony. Thank you, Brad. Brad, we're going to get you to the one runway. I want to see it again for day four for service. And for four, that's great. One, two, one. That's great. Bye, bye, bye. Operating to a blue ice runway as uh, we are going to operate today requires a whole different way to approach this uh, mission. But one of the most important parts for sure is to make sure that we plan with regards to the highest safety concerns. We run a very comprehensive safety risk assessment. Our flight operations department has done an impeccable job in planning, preparing and, uh, and uh, now we are going to execute this operation. We've passed uh, the midpoint uh, between uh, Cape Town and uh, Wolfsburg. So we are, our present position is uh, south 60 degrees, east 0, 012 degrees. And that uh, means that we are 783 miles approximately from our destination. And we will be landing in approximately uh, 1 hour and 50 minutes. We have just seen some icebergs just a while ago. Uh, and uh, we just got the latest weather report, uh, which fits the forecast. The, the winds are from the south, uh, skies are clear, temperature is minus 15, and the uh, horizon is, is, is good, and the contrast is good. This is a very important uh, rep additional report that we receive, uh, because the whiteout conditions are very uncomfortable for approach. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your commander again. Just about to start our descent to Volksfunk.
Operating to a Blue Ice Runway, an all different way to approach this uh, mission. Uh, first, uh, there is no ground support equipment down there, that means there is no air start or a ground power unit. The 340 is capable to perform this mission with enough fuel to go uh, down and, and up back to, to, to Cape Town. And there's all sorts of concerns that uh, surround a mission like this because there is no approach navigation aids uh, or visual aids to support the approach. So it's basically landing on an air club with a very long runway uh, built on uh, blue glacial ice. And the markings that we have are, are that will mark the, the edges of the runway, the threshold, the touchdown zone, uh, the beginning and the end. Not only you have to ensure that your dispatch uh, deviations are different from the standard flight, that means you cannot tolerate certain things with the airplane or its uh, uh, braking capability or deceleration means. And also that uh, when you approach an airfield, which is basically a visual airfield like it is in Antarctica, you need to ensure that the weather is good so that you can operate safely. We only launch this operation when the weather is perfectly fine for what we need to do down there. Welcome to Wolfsfang. We've landed on runway 17. The weather is perfect here. Uh, we had some uh, strong winds up to about 1,000 feet on final approach. Then they rotated and, and calmed down, so we landed it almost uh, straight down the runway uh, at wind of about 7 knots. And, uh, and the braking was as expected, uh, as in the old say, it's plan as you fly, fly as you plan. First day 340 in Antarctica.